Hello, my name's Julian Edgar, and I'm the author of this book, A Century of Car Aerodynamics, The Science and Art of Cars and Airflow. What I want to cover in today's video is the 1980 Peugeot Vera, a concept car, but unlike many concept cars, this was based on a real car, a real model, and how they were able to reduce drag. It's a fascinating story. So let's have a look. Up on the right was the standard Peugeot that it was based on. Okay, the standard car. Now, if we look at this, we can see it's got a very upright rear window, as was the case with many cars of that era. And so you have separated flow, basically, from the end of the roof and from the end of these pillars. And that was, in part, uh, going to govern how they were able to reduce drag. Now, on the left and down the bottom, we have the Vera concept car, the modified version of that car we can see on the upper right. Now, we're going to look at each of the modifications in detail in a moment, but what can we see immediately? We can see that there are these uh, little extensions around the windows. We can see there's a scalloped front guard or fender. We can see there's a rear uh, spoiler on the boot lid. When we look at the back of the car, we can see there's these extension edges here as well. Now, there are also some things that we can't see, but when you look at that on the left and down the bottom and you look on the right, it doesn't look dramatically different, does it? And and yet the drag coefficient of Vera was dramatically lower. Let's have a look. So the baseline, which was the Peugeot 305, that car on the upper right a moment ago had a drag coefficient of 0.44, pretty common for the time. They added the raised boot lid and spoiler. Here's the spoiler. I don't know about the raised boot lid. I can't see that. I can certainly see the spoiler. That was a 6% reduction. I'll round it off. They made the, the windscreen and rear windows flush. That's the glass here as well. And that dropped the drag by 1.7%. Drip rails and side extractor vents deleted to get better flow uh, past those little protuberances, dropped it by nearly 4%. Fared in the headlamp lenses, 1.3%, uh, a front air dam. Now, you gotta remember the age of the car. In those days, the underside of the car was really rough, and if you could stop air getting under the car, your drag coefficient lowered, it dropped. These days, of course, we don't want to stop air going under the car because we have smooth undersides. But then it was far cheaper and easier just to put a big front air dam, nearly a 4% reduction in drag. The front end gap sealed and a ducted radiator. And as the aerodynamicist I was working with on my book commented to me, it just shows how bad the air flows around the front of the car and through the cooling system were in those days. Just sealing the cooling duct to the radiator reduced drag, stopped all those air leaks going everywhere else, 4%. Bonnet lid, lid lip seal, so that fast, 1.4%. Fared in the rear belly pans. They did do a little bit under the car, but not much. 2.8% uh, flush wheel covers, 1.9%. Those people who think that if you put flush wheel covers on, it's going to make an enormous difference to drag. No, it doesn't. Side window deflectors added. Those are those ones around here that some photos of the car show and some don't. 4.5%. That's because the glass was nowhere near flush. It was all bumpy. Uh, whereas a modern car would have more flush glass. Rear arch Fairings added 1.6%. Vent ducts to the front wheels added. That's these here. Very much like the Honda inside of a bit later. 2.2%. Now, these extensions here to get clean separation around those edges. You were going to have separation anyway, so you might as well have it clean rather than wrapping around and creating little suction peaks. At 5%, 4.9% reduction in drag is the shape of the car. Uh, and then low resistance tyres, it went backwards. Um, uh, they obviously were, were more aerodynamically draggy than the others. But you dropped it from 0.44 down to 0.291, and then with those tyres back on, up to 0 0.306, 0 0.44 down to 0.29. And then, as I say, up to 0 0.31, basically, with the tyres. That is an extraordinary change without making a huge change to the car's shape. Uh, concept cars, very, very interesting. Here are some of the other concepts of a similar era that I cover in the book. Up here, the Ford Probe, the Renault Vesta, and over here, the first uh, of, the, of the other probes, probe number three. 
Some extraordinarily interesting cars are covered in the book. I do cover concept cars as well as production cars. It's all in the book, A Century of Car Aerodynamics, The Science and Art of Cars and Airflow. It's out now from Amazon in your country. Thank you.